good morning. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about morning routines. I have honestly never been like what you would call a morning person. I used to tell myself that, um, but then I realized telling myself that every day really wasn't getting me any closer to being one, uh, if you know what I mean. So I sort of surrendered to the idea that like mornings are the same as nights with more daylight most of the year. So um, anyways, I, I like to give myself a little something to start off my day. Some days I'm honestly like just like dancing around, just trying to feel good. I almost always have some audio book on that I can listen to that's going to put fresh, um, just like you eat breakfast in the morning to have nutrition and fuel your day. Um, I like to put positive thoughts to fuel my mind um, into my head. So um, by the way, happy draft day in Cleveland. We're having a Browns themed day. So anyways, we... Um, nutritious thoughts in your head can be just as good as like warming up your body and exercise and eating healthy. So, um, I always like to move a little bit, um, smile a little bit and think a couple of really nice thoughts. This morning was gloomy. So I laid on my acupressure mat for about 20 minutes. Then I did a 30 minute breath work session. That's the amazing thing I wanted to talk to you about. Um, just like uh, it's called Soma breath work and you inhale for two, exhale for four. And you do that for um, just repeatedly for a while. And it can really help you like set new intentions and break past things you've stored in your body. So definitely look for some workshops we're going to be hosting soon about that. But then I did about 15 minutes of stretching and yoga, turned on my music and started my day. So that was my morning routine today. It took about an hour, but you don't always have to do that. Five minutes giving back to yourself and setting intentions and giving gratitude is also plenty. Here's those exercises that I came here to show you. Okay, so um, you're going to bend in each direction. So forward and back, side to side and rotate. Um, to check in with your body. One, this is going to stretch out your body in different ways. Two, um, it's going to teach your brain where your body is, what it feels, where it feels good, where it feels bad. So later, if you go to pick something up, you're not going to get that, that tightness, that feeling in your back because your body's going to stop you a little bit before then and you're already going to be aware and tuned in how you're feeling for that day. So um, you're going to start with your head. So neck first, you're going to tilt your chin. Then you're going to let your head fall down all the way. Then you're going to round your shoulders forward, let your back fall and lean forward all the way over your legs. And then I like to use my hands to push me back up because I'm just checking in. The important thing about this is the succession. So you get each area of your spine. So first tuck the chin, then drop the head, then round the shoulders, then round the back, then lean forward, okay? Same thing going to the back. So you're gonna first lift the chin, then tilt the head, then add the shoulders, then add your back and come back up. Then you're gonna repeat it to the sides. First tilt your head, that are well kind of like chin first part of your head like just your ear moves a little bit then tilt your whole head add your shoulders and add your whole back and you can add an arm overhead if that feels good too same thing tilt the head add the neck tilt the shoulders add the low back reach overhead and then you can return up same thing with your low back here you're going to turn your head first shoulders second back after that and I like to reach around and come back. Head, shoulders, low back, turn. So it's pretty simple, but you're going to be able to tell where you're tight and you're going to start to loosen your body up. And I would go through those successions, um, you know, at least five times in each direction just to check into your body. Hey, let me know what works for you for your morning routine. We're all different. Um, there are days when I get up and I'm like, I'm grateful that I'm not going to be late today because I'm going to rush right into my day. <laughs> so give yourself space for whatever works for you and um, let us know in the comments because we can all learn from each other's great habits. All right. Have a good one.